the uncovered condition of my skin doesn't really have anything to do with the topic today that's just kind of a personal effort to just be okay looking the way i am our official topic of today is delayed gratification i don't know how well known of a term that is so i will work on defining it later but i mostly just wanted to focus on the fact for now that our we live in a culture of convenience i can order something off amazon and it arrives the day after or i am hungry so i go through the drive through and and delivered a meal without having to think about where the food comes from or the work that went into creating that food and that meal i can contact anyone i want anytime i want through phone or instant messaging and our society has set up so many ways to fulfill our needs or desires immediately. And while I do really think that there is a lot of benefits and reliefs to having those systems, I think it can start to be detrimental to us when we start to expect everything in life to be served to us um, at our immediate convenience. We can begin to lose touch with the beauty of putting in effort and patience and having to wait for the end results to fully develop. Delayed gratification or having to wait for the satisfactory results give us more peace, more patience, more humility or endurance. I know for me it can give me a greater sense of thankfulness for the effort that um, other people put into the products that I get to consume and it also makes me more thankful for getting to enjoy the process of creating something or putting in effort or having to wait. So, since it is not completely necessary or attainable to completely push back against the entire structure of our society by refusing to participate in convenience culture, I'm just going to list as many ideas as I can think of, of simple, practical ways to practice small means of delayed gratification. I would love at the end of the video to hear any ways that you think you could or ways that you do practice delayed gratification um, and how that maybe benefits you or could benefit us. So here we go. Number one is to freeze any veggie scraps or meat scraps and later boil it to make broth instead of buying the conveniently packaged pre-made broth from the store. Growing a plant from seed and waiting to watch it come to full life. Waiting to tell someone something in person instead of instant messaging them or calling them right away. Marinating your food overnight. Writing a letter to family or friends and requesting a response in return. Finding a special item to save up for and buy for yourself. Putting a book at the library on hold and picking it up when it comes in. Saving up your recycling to turn in at your local waste center. Start a knitting or crochet project and following it through to the end, even if you lose interest. Watching a YouTube video through to the end, even if you lose interest. Sticking to an exercise program for a long period of time, like six months or a year, even if you feel discouraged or don't see results as soon as you would like. Buying yourself a gift for your birthday months in advance, but waiting till your birthday to open it. Making dough, letting it rise overnight, and baking some bread. Identifying one muscle group in your body that's tight and consistently stretching it every other day or so until you see improvement writing a story or creating some kind of art, even if you feel like you're not very good at it. Creating a photo album with pictures you take over the years to share with people who join your family as time goes on. Recording your favorite recipes in a book to pass on to future generations. Creating a fund in your budget for long-term plans like travel or larger investments. Walking to nearby locations like the neighborhood park or pool or a close local store instead of driving the short distance. Packing your own lunch to take for a picnic or eat during your lunch break instead of buying takeout at work. Starting an audiobook or novel and finishing it through to the end even if you lose interest. 
starting a collection, whether that's license plates, postcards, stamps, rocks that you can display in the future. Buying vegetables that are not prepared or pre-washed and enjoying the sensory experience of getting to make your own food. Taking the scenic route to your destination, growing your hair note, and if you like, donating it at the end. Save your worn out clothing to recycle instead of throwing it away or letting it linger in your closet. Try your hand at propagating plants and watch the roots slowly grow and slowly mature until you can plant them in their own pot. Keeping a journal of encouraging notes to yourself and then when a year lapses, you start over by reading one a day. Check the labels on your clothes and start air drying those that are recommended to do so. These are all just things to inspire you. I don't, I all want this to be a list of things that you feel like you have to do or I am telling you that you have to do um, in order for you to preserve yourself from getting infected by convenience culture. It's not sustainable for us to do all of these things all the time, but in choosing to do even one of these or two of these, we can begin to restore a little bit of the benefit that comes from knowing delayed gratification. Just the extra patient, patience that gives you peace, um, the endurance, the being able to wait when things aren't going your way. So I hope that this gave you some ideas on how to revive some of that strength of character that comes from the delayed gratification that our culture is losing. I will see you next week for some related content on the value of boredom.